try to film the best I can. I'm having a lot of trouble breathing. Um, got a dry cough. I'm gonna take my inhaler. The sucking of air is bad. Um, but it has officially been 25 days <coughs> since we got sick, y'all. 25 days. The last two days were the first two days we have been out of bed. Any of us. I'm talking about the whole entire family. Um, um, my, I finished my Dacla cycling yesterday. I swear. Every time I get over stuff, I get really trouble breathing. I was told, and this is only the last few years, and I was told that was because of the long whole COVID thing. My lungs don't work like they used to. Um, so things affect them more. Y'all, I've never been so sick in my life. None of us have been. Ever. Ever. Other than my daughter. It was weird. She is like, I was immune. She only got a little sick. And she's the one who gets the flu twice a year. And she's out for six plus weeks on tons of medications. And this didn't really affect her. <coughs> so y'all gonna have to bear with the way I look. And the way I'm talking and coughing. Okay? My sinus thing had gone away like four days ago. But now it's back. So, um... Today's the 15th, I believe, of December. I haven't recorded until now because, y'all, I haven't gone grocery shopping since, like, the 15th of November for either house. So, that's a whole entire month. Um, I did get a few things delivered for, like, Dino and my mom one time from Walmart. But, y'all, Walmart prices are so friggin' high. Plus, you need to pay the tipping and everything. That we didn't get nothing for almost $300. Like, nothing. No meat, no nothing. 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 It was ridiculous. So, we decided not to do that again and just eat whatever was in our house. So, I might be having trouble breathing, too, because I'm very swollen. Because the last 10 days, I ran, I'd ran out of crackers. I ran out of everything because I didn't have any, any frozen meats. Nothing, right? Even if I did, I couldn't stand up to cook. So, I have been eating tons like every day, can hams, can spam, um, can chicken, and I don't even heat it. I just open it, cut a chunk, and eat it because I had to eat with my medicine, and I was on four different medicines, and I had to take them at four different times. So I'm also my sleep is really screwed. I'm really exhausted, not only because of coughing all night and not being asleep at night, but having to wake up constantly to take my meds. And one of the meds that I take twice a day, you cannot lay down for an hour after taking it. You have to remain standing or sitting up. You can't lean back or nothing. Um, so, yeah. When I say I'm exhausted, y'all, I'm exhausted. But we went to like Sam's and BJ's and stuff last night because around 5, we had some energy. So we decided to go out at 5 o'clock at night. Basically, I know, afternoon, but to me it's night because it's dark outside. And we didn't get home until 10 last night. Um, so, we got some of that done. Um, the day before, I had to take care of the cat litter. So, I have a short video, um, just of a small part. And this was two weeks ago, I think, I filmed this. Like, this was only after two weeks of not cleaning the uh, cat litter bathroom. Yes, I did the litter every day, but I didn't do the scrubbing down. We'll see if I decide to put that video in here. It was so bad, y'all. I should have filmed it again um, when I went to go do it. Y'all, I could have built a snowman with the freaking um, clay powder everywhere. It goes in the air every time they were to use the cat litter. And we've been using that cat litter for a year, not realizing how bad it was. I knew I made a mess. That's why I cleaned it. I wiped down every single thing two to three times a week. Um, so you would see dust on everything, like a light powder dust. Like, like if you live um, where it's windy and you have sand and dust, just, or let's just say pollen, right? So the pollen comes through and you wipe it all down, right? Because it covers everything. You wipe it all down. Well, I did that multiple times a week. But not doing cat litter for over three weeks. Like, I scooped, but, you know, without wiping down the walls, the tubs, every counter, the toilet, everything that's in there, the floor. Y'all, we were poisoning ourselves. It was so bad. So bad. I did not think I was going to get it up. It was a thick layer on everything. Even the walls. I had to scrub the walls. Okay, y'all? 
I did not realize how bad it was because I cleaned it two to three times a week and wiped everything down. But that means all of that was in the air. So the dust I've been thinking that's on my figurines in the living room and stuff. And I've been like, why is that my house getting so much dust? It's not dust. It's the friggin' powder dust from cat litter. Like, so that's why I, I spent um, the first day of being better to go get a small group of groceries for everyone. And then I spent the whole day emptying. I got them a new cat litter box, everything. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. But like, I totally scrubbed everything, every wall, everything. And they've been using it for three or four days now probably four days now um and the only thing is you have to pick your demon you're gonna have dust everywhere which is more of a nightmare or you have a little bit of tracking because it gets on their paws which is fine because i have a small dust pan and broom and every time i go in there to do cat litter i just sweep up whatever tiny bit of little particles that come off when you get out of cat litter i know not keto but this is more like a diary um so that's why I've been doing. <coughs> it's nice. It's clean. It's got a little... Like, I, I've ordered some rugs from Timu because they're a dollar. Okay? So, when they get messy, you throw them away and put down another one. It's a dollar. Um, give me a second. I also been having to re-put my porch together because there was... There was a really bad storm. Really bad. When I still got to put this tree back together, all this was on the ground. It all fell off of it. Um, so... I have, I have to redecorate that tree, which I don't feel like doing right now. So I had to re-put everything back together out here. All of this had fallen, all of this. Um, some of those are still turned around again. Um, but I made this beautiful place, right, to hang, to watch Christmas movies. And we literally, all of us, mom, dad, Dino, Dino's still in bed in there. He got wiped out from yesterday. All of us have been trapped in a bed since the 20th of November. Like, everything is so messy. <sighs> so messy. Hold on. Which meant, I only did dishes like twice, um, and they were Dino's dishes, because like I said, I wasn't using dishes. Y'all, once I was out of my crackers, it was canned meat. Canned meat swells me up more than carbs. Um, I've gone up 15 pounds since my last video. I'll do the canned meat. Um, and my blood pressure is through the roof, all that sodium, but I didn't have a choice because there was nothing else. I didn't even have, the only, there was one thing else, oatmeal. I could eat oatmeal, right? Which, yes, I know, but we're not talking about keto right now. But guess what? Oatmeal makes it hard to breathe, and my stomach does not like to digest it at all. Not even a tiny bit. So oatmeal was completely out of the question. So that left me with canned hams. And now I'm paying for it. I'm paying for it badly. Um, but it is what it is. And I've already been planning January. Right? Because Dina wants to start going to the gym a minimum of three days a week in January. Um, so I've already been planning what January is going to be like. Because I'm starting to believe the doctors now when they say... It is your cortisone levels, which are extremely high. It is, and sometimes they're extremely low, y'all. Um, I have a, I forgot what they called it. I'm having an issue with my cortisone being extremely out of the chart high or in the gutter. They thought I had Addison's disease because it's in the gutter. Um, so, it is true. Stress kills and stress makes you fat. Literally. Because every time... I've had a stressful moment, really bad stressful moment in the last two years now. I get severe GER. What triggers GER the worst other than like hot sauce and onions and stuff? Stress. And then I gain a bunch of weight. And my cortisol goes crazy. And I no longer can sleep at night because I have these big giant episodes about 3 a.m., this whole area turns bloodshot red. I'm on fire stripping off clothes. And no, it's not menopause or premenopause. It is my cortisone level shooting through the roof during those hours. <sighs> so, I have a lot of doctor's appointments coming up. And, yeah. Lost track. 
what I was saying because my ADHD, my focus is extremely bad right now. So I'm going to go inside, see what my dad wanted, and then we'll come back and chat some more. Okay, two hours later, my dad's computer is completely updated. I did an online order for them from Sam, Timu, and Walmart while I was there. Um, ran back home multiple times because I'm doing laundry, so I was switching it back and forth. Now it's time to go home and shut my windows. <laughs> I'm trying to shut windows because it's cold. Sorry, Dina was hollering. <coughs> so it's gotten cold, so it's time to shut my windows. I was trying to air the sickness out of the house. Um, but yeah, so I have, <coughs> I'm not doing any kind of diet right now. I'm going to start in January, which I'm calling low carb because I don't want haters. Because it's going to be a lot of low fat days. Um, so today I had, which was 40 carbs. I've only had a total of 40 carbs today because I had a sandwich. Um, had two pieces of bread. So, and y'all, that's probably all I'll eat. I have no appetite. Um, but it was the low sodium, um, boar's head meat. And I don't have problems with that. I am just behind on so much that... The thought of even eating chicken or anything like that, like cooking real food, no. That's one of my problems right now. Everything tastes horrible again. <coughs> so, I just had a sandwich. And it'll equal a total of less than 50 carbs, including my coffee today. Which, I'm down to one coffee just because I don't even like the taste of coffee right now. And my heartburn, heartburn came back, which was my fault. Because three days ago, I was out of my water. I was out of everything, um, even my coffees, so I was drinking Dina's Coat Zeros. Heartburn City, don't worry, I got off of them. It was not an addiction issue this time because the heartburn was so bad from them that I never want to drink another Coat Zero. Like, it literally, like, I'm just like, no, mm -mm. I don't even want to see another cracker ever again. As many crackers as I ate when I was sick. I literally, the thought of crackers makes me want to throw up. But, I need to go shut these windows and get past these cats. He thinks he can open the door. Okay, this is just like a video of my whole life, right? It's just my diaries. And I was complaining about the cat litter. Yes, I am still very sick. It's like the 8th or 9th. I don't know. I've actually lost all count of days. It could be the 7th. Um, but my last video was really complaining about the cat litter. So, it has been over two weeks since I'm cleaned and wiped down. I wipe down everything twice, sometimes three, four times a week. Um, so I had no idea how bad it could get because there's always dust from the cat litter in this bathroom, even wiping down anywhere from two to four times a week. But holy crap, y'all, don't worry, I will not show you everything because there's some areas that need to be cleaned because I've been sick. Um, but let me show you what happens in two weeks of being sick and not being able to scrub the stuff down. This is not the cat's fault. This is the cat litter's fault. Now, I am still using the same brand, but I've upgraded their type of cat litter because this is horrifying. Y'all, this is only two weeks. This is dust. That is flying through the air. Yes, this is cat litter box. So that's going to look dirty inside. Ignore that. You see this? You see that nastiness? I can write my name in it. See this? Covered. Cover. See this? Covered. Y'all, I usually scrub the floors, the walls, um, all of this. See? This was just done like on the 20th before I got sick. Um, and it's been two weeks. And look, all of this was done on the 20th. And look how bad it is. It's dust. It's literally dust. Horrible. So we are switching, okay? We are switching from, let me see, this one, okay? This one right here to this one. And this one's more silicone-y. Like, I cannot explain how much better this one is. I got it in the living room. Been in there for a month now. I'm using it. Zero dust. Zero dust. Zero tracking. Zero anything. Alright, so, um, 
The dust from the other one permanently stained this. I cannot scrub it off no matter what I've tried. It is just not coming off even with a water hose. So I will be buying a new one just because I can't stand the look of it. Um, but this is from almost all day. So it's not a lot of tracking. But y'all, this thing was drenched. I'm talking about all these lines were drenched. Like, it was so bad. Oh my gosh, I missed. I missed a spot. I didn't think about it. Oh my gosh, I still gotta clean that. And that is just from two, three weeks. Like, and I don't even wanna see up there. I didn't make it up there either. Um, But yeah, so, and it smells so much better and it's lightweight. So if you're looking for a cat litter and you have a dust one, this one is the better one. Like, you can even tell what my floor looked like. It was so bad, the other one. <sighs> Yes, I can't use pine or anything. Everyone's always telling me this nap, which I cannot use because of my allergies. I'm trying to get used to the smell of this one. It is taking my breath away, and it is the light smelling one. It's a hyperogenic light smell. I would hate to know what the strong smell smells like. Let me tell you. Y'all, I've been doing laundry all day. I did it. I had about, it was laundry day, um, the week of Thanksgiving, the week I got sick. So... I was over three loads behind on Dino's because I do it all in one day. Plus, he took tons and tons of showers. So, I got like seven loads with his laundry alone. And I had to do a load while he was sick. Um, and then I have, thank God I own so much underwear and pajamas. Because I didn't do any of my laundry the whole entire time. Um, so, I had two whole loads of that to do. But, um, and I'm still doing it. I think it's nine o'clock at night. I haven't eaten anything else. <sighs> but yeah, my bones and my ribs hurt so bad, like insanely bad. I don't know why they're inflamed. I have this condition with my rib inflammation. I keep forgetting what it's called. Um, my mom knows what it's called because she has the same condition and they get horrible inflammation and the pain is excruciating. I can't even touch them. I'm wearing a bra as a nightmare. I have to take my daughter out tomorrow to a birthday party, so I definitely have to put a bra on. So that's not gonna be fun. Are you coming to use the clean bathroom? Whoops. Anyways, anyways, I will talk to you in a little bit. I ran into Aldi's today to get me some chicken, and they didn't have any. Ended up eating canned chicken. Um, but they had this cute little dog bed for twenty dollars, so I bought it for the cats. Willow loves it. And yes, my socks are everywhere because they think my socks belong to them. And they pull them out and they play with them all night long. So, yeah. Willow, you like your new bed? I had it up here. I bought it to go up here because they come up here a lot. And Sharky was a no-no baby the other night when I was sick and scratched it to death, which made me almost want to cry because it's not that old enough to buy a new one and they are not cheap. Um, I mean, it, he had been good forever. I don't know, maybe because I wouldn't wake up. Um, so I bought it for up there, but she wants it on the ground, so that's where it is. And this is why I can't lay in my bed. Or even play with my tablet. Dumper, are you laying with mommy? We all like mommy being sick. No, you want baby watching mommy. Alright, so here's a quick video. It is the 17th. It has been pouring awful rain all day long. Woke up with a severe migraine. Took a Motrin and fell back asleep until Dino woke me up at 3.30 in the afternoon. I was slept. I would still be asleep probably. And it's like 7.50. But my daughter had a Christmas party to go to. Even though it was raining so bad you couldn't see anything. And the roads were horrible. She hasn't seen anyone over for a month. So I felt bad. So we got in the car and we went out in the nasty weather. Um, We were there. We had to leave. She couldn't go to the party because someone brought their puppy. She's EpiPen allergic to dogs. Um, so I felt really bad for her. So she loves Cracker Barrel. So we all went to Cracker Barrel to eat. Y'all, they took my chef's salad away. 
They turned, the menus changed greatly, and everything I kept ordering, they were either out of, or they no longer carry. So I ended up ordering country ham. Why didn't I order eggs? If you follow me, you know I am very sensitive to eggs. There's only a few brands of eggs I can have. They have to be organic. The really ones that only ones that I bought some BJ's pasture raised eggs again because I used to could eat them. We'll see if I still can. But I had been able to only eat the local farmers' eggs. I literally go buy local people's farm eggs here that are brown, sometimes blue. Um, they still have the stuff on them. They are never, like, they only go in their cages at night. So, those, that's why I can't eat eggs when we're out. So, any, that's not, can't have it. Can't have sausage. It makes me sick. Now I've never been able to eat sausage without throwing up. And I hate their bacon. So, the only thing really um, I could find to eat was country ham. So I got two orders of country ham because I was going to skip eating, but my daughter with her autism, she can't handle um, going out with people and someone being at the table not eating, which I understand. Even without autism, that kind of always made me feel uncomfortable. So I ate, y'all. It's not like I could unbutton my pants in the restaurant, but when I got to the car, I was almost bleeding. My skin was so red. My stomach swole so gigantic within 15 minutes it was insane like insane I I just can't I love country ham don't get me wrong and I know better than to eat it because I always swell but this was the worst swelling I've ever had and I am already crazy swollen still like I am like almost 240 on the scale again um so in January, the new year, 2024, the only meats I will be eating is boar's head when it comes to like deli meats or anything, or no sodium or low sodium. What? You need sodium on keto? Yes, unless you have a sodium issue. I will drench it in Redmond's Real Salt. No issue with that. I could soak my food with that. It is this other garbage that they put in our food that makes a difference. In my body okay plus sodium nitrates that all makes a difference in my body I just can't have it the reason I could drink like Zedia's right but they're expensive um versus like Coke Zero is there's no acetane acerfane or whatever there is no caramel coloring um <coughs> those are the things that give me severe heartburn and makes me really sick this does nothing to me um but I can't have the root beer one, which I love. The root beer and the cream root beer, um, which I love, give me severe heartburn too. Only certain flavors don't. I can have grape. I can have strawberry. Sometimes I can have the orange. Um, I can have the fake Mountain Dew one, but I don't like the taste of it. It tastes too much like 7-Up to me. Um, hold on. One of my bad kitties are in here. Kitty, what are you doing? But, um, so that's all I had to eat today. And I'm paying for it in for it. The cats don't like the rain. They are very on top of me. Like, I have them all around me right now, and they're on top of me at night because of it. Tomorrow, I have a mammogram at UNC Hospital, Cancer Hospital. So, that is going to be a long day. I have to be up by 9 a.m., and I have not been falling asleep until 7 a.m., I cannot sleep at night. I go through coughing episodes. I'm having severe cortisol releases during the night. I'm on fire. The red face is going on. Um, one doctor said it was, like I said, menopause. Um, but then I saw my lady doctor, and she laughed and ran all the tests. She said, no, you're not even pre-menopause. And then I saw my endocrinologist, and he agreed with one of my other doctors, my main doctor, she both agreed that my cortisone level is going crazy. Um, because like I said, sometimes it's up, sometimes it's down. So I'm having a lot of issues right now. Um, and I'm trying to focus 2024 on healing the issues. And when you heal your body and you eat properly, the weight will fall off. So instead of focusing on the scale and the weight loss journey, we're going to focus on the healing journey. Because I've been focused the last couple of years on weight loss journey and it's not working. I get stressed when the scale doesn't move fast enough. 
So I don't even know if I'll be getting on the scale. I'll probably get on the scale on the first and maybe the first of each month. But after that, we, I'm not. I And um, I plan on adding berries in the spring because right now the berries don't taste so well. Um, I did really good and lost a lot of weight and felt healthier when I ate a lot of berries and stuff like that. So we're going... They're distracting me. We're going to be readjusting stuff. This is my new favorite blanket. I got it on Black Friday sales on Amazon for $19. I actually bought me another one because they still had it on sale the other day. I'm waiting for it to come in. It is so soft and so warm. Sharky. Hi, Sharky. Want to say hi? Want to say Merry Christmas to people? You look like you want me to leave you alone. Shaky. On a happy face? Your son is trying to grab my hand. Cry, baby. You're so spoiled. Will you say Merry Christmas to people? It's going to be Christmas before we know it. Especially how long my videos get up there. So, in January, I'm going to be moving all my videos over to my laptop and going down to my parents and uploading because they have way faster internet, which is my internet. Like, it's T-Mobile, but for some reason, it works at their house but does not work up here. So, we are going to try that, even though that's going to be a pain because there's nowhere. <coughs> and they don't, like, have tables and stuff to sit at, so... It's going to be a little bit of pain, but we're going to try that because my internet does not work. Boy. But, yeah, I didn't realize they were, they didn't have upload speed, but the last couple, like the last three weeks, they've had upload speed, so let's hope it stays. Okay, I'm going to let y'all go for now. Boy. Stop, that's a mommy's cord. Stop that. What's so naughty? Hey, mommy sees her socks over there. I swear, you'll run my socks everywhere.